What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and this is the Ergomaniac's Office Desk. As crazy as it sounds, it's not only meant for comfort, this was actually designed to also minimize all the pressure on your spine. Standing desks which have blown up in the past few years actually do worse in this regard as there's always pressure being put on your legs, knees and back. And even with standard desks, there's still a considerable amount of pressure being put on your lower back when you're sitting down. So yes, this is definitely more comfortable, but how practical is having this in your office or home? Well, it depends. It takes up a lot of space with the working panel giving you about 24 by 58 inches of usable real estate, which is enough to mount a few ultrawides. But when talking about the whole desk size into consideration, it's not that much. They do have a smaller version available as well, and it's cheaper and has enough space to accommodate a single large monitor. It comes in at $700 and personally this is the one I would go for, but options are always nice to have. These desks are handmade in California from solid oak and come in a light wood finish. Through custom order however, Orgomaniacs can make custom desks with different wood and painted finishes. Because I'm definitely not a fan of the wood look, although I'm sure a lot of people are into that. I would personally have mine painted in white. There's actually a lot more storage than you would think at first glance. There's a rack hidden away near the back that works great for cable management. Also the angled panel is hinged and it can be held up to reveal a spacious area. And this is where we put our MSI Trident PC. I do wish however they would have incorporated a locking mechanism so I wouldn't have to hold or prop this up. This would make accessing the storage area a lot more convenient. And oddly enough, that's actually the only complaint I have about the build. The wood is really well put together and you can tell someone spent a lot of time on this. The modern amount being used here actually comes included with the price of the desk, so that's really nice as well. The keyboard and wrist rest are being held up by Velcro, which is great if you ever want to change the positioning of your peripherals. For instance, if you need to look down at your keyboard when you type, you could easily move it up without a problem. A cool little trick that easily came to mind when using the desk was to use the keyboard itself as a holder. Because let's face it, you can't really put stuff on the desk without it sliding off. So I put my phone up there, my mouse when I'm not using it, and even a bottle of water with complete faith in the holding power of the Velcro. Of course, this also depends on the thickness of your keyboard. If you have a very slim keyboard, then you probably don't have enough surface area to hold up things on the desk. Getting in a comfortable position and using the desk was enough to have me sold. I could seriously be here for 8 hours without any fatigue. After all, I'm just laying down. The best way I can describe it is like laying in your bed with some elevation. My weight was being evenly distributed on my back and not just on a single point, which left me feel weightless in the chair. As a person who spends the majority of their day in front of a computer, something like this takes comfort to a whole new level. It even has a footrest. There's one thing I couldn't get used to though, and that was using the mouse at such an angle. Especially if you have a heavy mouse and if it is wireless, you're constantly fighting against gravity to try and keep it upright and on the surface. And because of this, I cannot recommend this desk for any hardcore or competitive gamer as this will definitely affect your accuracy and responsiveness. But if you're using a wired mouse, to remedy the situation we attached a mouse bungee which supported most of the weight. So in my case, all I had to do was move the mouse left and right. I would use this desk more for long editing sessions or if I just want to kick back, watch some videos or even do some casual gaming. It's really great for all of that. So with that said, I would strongly recommend this desk to people who get uncomfortable from sitting for long stretches at a time, especially for people who have back pain. This is also great for companies that want to give its employees a more relaxed working environment. I personally think it would be sweet going into work and being able to use this bad boy to get my job done. Now this model does come in at $2,900 which is steep, but when taking into consideration the competition, these tables actually start at $6,000, so this is actually not a bad deal. However, like I said before, this is actually really large and as you can see there is so much more real estate that I did not end up using and I would strongly recommend going with the smaller version instead that starts at $700. That's actually one of the reasons why the guys at Ergomaniac started this company, to give the consumer a more affordable reclining workstation. That pretty much wraps the video, if you guys want to check out their cool desks, I'll drop a link to them down below. And let me know what you guys think by dropping your comments as well. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next video.